What's up, guys, and how's it going? Uh, we're here for another Cinema 4D uh, tutorial, and this time we're going to cover basic um, modeling, so basic manipulation of an object, and just some of the some of the basic tools that we can use to uh, help you model something more accurately and help you manipulate shapes. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to add a cube. I'm just going to click that one. And we got a cube in the scene. So the first thing that you have to do um, anytime that you want to start uh, modeling or manipulating a certain object is you have to make that object editable. So the first thing um, you click on the object that we want, so in this case it's our cube, and we come over here to the left side, and this top button here with the two spheres, we're going to go ahead and click that. And what that's going to do is that's going to let us manipulate our object now. So there's three different kind of uh, basic ways to manipulate an object, and they're right here. So there's the points, there's the edges, or the lines, and there's polygons. So if we click points, you can see it highlights the corners with these little dots here. So if we click on one of these little dots, we can uh, drag it around, we can change the shape of our cube that way. If we click edges, we can highlight any of these edges and we can change the shape like that. So you can manipulate the shape like that. Or there's polygons, like an entire. You click an entire side, and you can drag it and do different stuff with it like that. So that's three basic ways. Um, you can either click on them with your mouse, or you can come here to this this uh, cursor inside of the circle, and that's our live selection tool. So there's a little bit more complex ones, but the live selection tool is pretty simple. You can just click and drag and highlight whatever you want. Um, just be careful over here if only select visible elements isn't on. If it's not checked, you will select everything that your sphere is pointing over, even if it's on the other side of our random cube shape. So if I click it on, I can select this side, and that side is fine. But if I have it off and I do the same thing, now it selects the back side as well and the bottom. So just be careful that you have that on. You can change the radius, bigger or smaller, but usually it's fine for what you're doing. Alright, so now we'll get into some basic tools that we can use for editing some objects. So to access these tools, you you can select, you can when you're on polygon mode, you can select one side, doesn't matter what side it is, and if you go ahead and right click, it brings up all of our tools. So the basics ones that we're going to be using are in this area here, the bevel, the extrude, the inner extrude, the matrix extrude, and then um, we can use line cut for polygon manipulation. So if I go ahead and I click bevel, what it's going to do is exactly like this little picture here shows. It's going to extrude it out and it's going to make it smaller. So if I go ahead and click and drag my mouse, you can see it extrudes it outwards and inwards at the same time. So that's what our bevel does. And you can do multiple steps. You can actually do it backwards too. So if you do like a negative one, you can put it back into our cube. If I go ahead and right click again, there's the classic extrude, which is exactly like any other one. It just extrudes straight outwards. It doesn't make it smaller, doesn't make it bigger, just extrudes that polygon. Um, so the next tool that we have here is inner extrude. So what this one does is it doesn't extrude inwards. What it does is it makes the polygon smaller, kind of like what the picture beside the cursor shows you. So if I click and drag, it just shrinks the cursor. It doesn't push it in or out. It just shrinks it. And the last one here is matrix, matrix extrude. 
just extrudes it in this this crazy little curved trunk like thing I don't really know what you would use that for but it's there so so that's a few of those um, now let's say I wanted to I'll come to this side here let's say I wanted to um, make this into two polygons but I didn't know how so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the polygon that I want to change the shape or change the number of polygons and if I right click and I go line cut this is going to let us make um, an extra line like you can see in all of these other ones by simply just clicking on one point and then clicking on another point and you can see now we have two separate polygons one there and one there so that's a useful little tool that you can uh, use when you're when you're um, modeling for changing shapes and everything you can now that we got lines we can uh, select our line we can drag that out you know just just for whatever reason if you're ever looking for that you can just cut lines into certain polygons the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is the weld option so pretty much the weld option works with points so if I go ahead and I switch to our point tool and I select this point and this point down here and I right click and I go to weld so what this, this option does is it welds this point with this point and it creates one point so I can either weld it to the bottom to the top or to the middle wherever this white little circle goes that's where it's going to weld to so let's say I want to do it in the middle I just click in the middle and it welds those two points together making one one single point that I can now move around and manipulate with my move tool so that's kinda cool um, another cool one is let's say I was modeling this for whatever reason and I accidentally delete that polygon now I have this big hole in my object and for whatever reason I couldn't undo I couldn't get this this back and I don't know what I did to get rid of it so there's a simple thing there's a simple and useful tool in Cinema 4D that lets you fill this right up so if we right click we go close polygon hole and we just hover over the area it'll highlight the area that it wants to cover and you just click it and boom our polygon hole is closed so that's perfect <clears throat> um, there's the create point option that you just you can click on the line if you have the line tool selected you can create points on the line specifically or if you have the polygon tool selected you can create points in the center of different polygons in case you needed to for whatever reason like so <clears throat> um, one other thing I want to go and show you guys real quick is I'm just gonna delete that and add a plane and I'm gonna set my plane to one segment by one segment so now I just got a I got a little square so I'm gonna make this editable and this method is useful for um, modeling objects um, if you come into the extrude option and I or not the extrude option the edge option sorry and I select an edge if I right click and then go extrude now I can extrude further another polygon and then I can manipulate that and then I can extrude that further and I can and I can just keep doing this <clears throat> to make the specific shape of whatever whatever object I'm I'm trying to make I don't know what object this is but 
you guys get the point. And and then when you wrap it all the way around, you can weld the points together, and now you got some funky little shape. A useful tip when modeling is you only really have to model half of an object, and then you can use the symmetry object, and it it mirrors the object. And then you can change change the plane that you want to mirror, so so that you don't actually need to um, do both sides. You can just make half of it, drop it in a symmetry object, and boom, the other half is done for you. And it renders it perfectly fine and everything. So yeah, the only other thing that I wanted to show you is um, I'm just going to go ahead and create a default material here. You can actually uh, select specific polygons to apply materials to which is nice when you're trying to finish a project and you can make one object have multiple different colors by just selecting the polygons which is really nice but yeah so that's just some um, basic modeling techniques uh, the only other thing I would say is there is an object in here called subdivision surface in older ones it was called hypernerbs but pretty much what it does is it just um, subdivides your surface into uh, a ton more polygons so it, it smooths it out so this is without it it's very square it's very rigid we just click this back on and now it's a smooth flow uh, it makes these nice curves and um, so it's really nice when you're modeling an object with lots of smooth uh, corners and smooth areas. You can make them pretty rough and then you can just add a subdivision onto it and it smooths them right out and it makes it look much much better. So yeah guys that's pretty much it for this tutorial. That's just some basic modeling and um, modeling tools, techniques, and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, uh, hit that like button. And if you enjoy the content that you see on this channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe, because there's going to be a ton more content to come. All right, guys. Have a good one. See ya.